Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have built a flying tank in Flyout. So why did I make this tank? Well, because you guys voted for it on my Discord server. There was a poll and the flying tank won by a lot. But let's get right into design. So what kind of tank is it based on? It's based on a T-54 which is a Russian tank made in 1947. As the armament, it has a Gatling gun in its barrel, right? Be because there isn't a gun, that you can't size the gun big enough for the barrel, so I just decided to put a 26 mm six barreled Gatling gun in there. The turret also can comp move 360 degrees around itself and can raise and lower the cannon barrel. The engine or engines are also extremely inefficient. You only have at maximum throttle about four minutes of fuel. But you have to say to that, to get a tank to Mark 1 takes a lot of power. And the wings are based on the wing setup of the F-104. That's just because we found it was funny to make a huge tank and then just give it like these small stubby wings of an F-104 but it, it's working and I think it's very nice. This tank is probably also the only tank that ever had a RWR because it's a flying tank and there is no real flying tank except like the one RC tank that flight test once built. But even that one was only made out of cardboard and some electric fans and not out of proper stalinium and huge jet engines. So what can this tank even do? Well, it, as I just said, it can go Mark 1.1 for around four minutes. And it can pull as probably also as one of a kind tank that can pull three Gs. It also features four hard points, as I also said, a fully moving turret. So the Top Gun Wavering scene would go a little bit different. So you wouldn't just pull um, out of there with a Cobra because first this tank is absolutely movable. And second, you could just move your turret and shoot them down that way. And also, this tank is probably indestructible and immune to any radar missiles or any missiles in general because they don't use proper explosive. They use metal fragments to destroy or heavily damage a plane. So you could just take hits at least as long as your wings are still intact and your engines. That, that could be the only issue that this aircraft would have. It also is probably perfect, just perfect for close air support. And it's not. And with all of that being said, we were ready to fly. 